ClearTechInfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Adobe Shockwave Player on Internet Explorer 8 and above. Open up Internet Explorer. Go to the site get.adobe.com forward slash shockwave. Hit enter. You'll be taken to this website. From here, uncheck this. This is unnecessary. It has nothing to do with the Adobe Shockwave Player. Click here, where it says Agree and Install Now. When it is complete, you'll see this message. It usually installs within 45 seconds. Just to double check that it is actually installed and working properly, go to google.com and type in Shockwave Player Test. Go to the site, adobe.com forward slash shockwave forward slash welcome. And here is the Adobe Shockwave and Adobe Flash Player test page. If the Adobe Shockwave Player is installed properly, you see something similar to this on your screen. If the Adobe Flash Player is installed properly, you'll see something similar to this on your screen. And if for some reason the Adobe Shockwave Player does not install properly, something went wrong, it's probably because a piece of software on your computer is blocking it. I have no idea what you installed on your computer, but more than likely it'll be a piece of firewall software, antivirus software, or pop-up blocker. There are tons out there, so I just listed the most popular. Kaspersky, ESET, Norton, aka Semantic, McAfee, Zone Alarm, Bitdefender, Black Ice, Outpost, Trend Micro, Panda, and Google Toolbar. So you just have to figure out which one of these it is, or it could be 20 others. There's a ton of different firewall, antivirus, and pop-up blockers out there that aren't even listed on here. Find out exactly which ones you have, and disable or exit the programs temporarily. And then reinstall or attempt to reinstall the Adobe Shockwave Player. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.